Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another video. So in this video, we will doing the PUBG test between the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I know the Samsung S22 Ultra is not the latest phone from Samsung right now, but still it is very interesting to see that how much a difference between these devices in terms of the performance in the PUBG mobiles. And the Samsung S22 Ultra is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoC with Adreno 730 GPU, we have 12 GB of RAM on this phone while the iPhone 14 Pro Max has an Apple A16 Bionic SoC with Apple 5 core GPU again we have 6 GB of RAM on the iPhone 14 Pro Max on the back we have a quad camera on the Samsung versus a triple cameras on the iPhone 14 Pro Max so Samsung has a 108 megapixel optical image stabilization main camera while on the other hand iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 48 megapixel with a sensor shift OIS main camera so the back on both phones is made up of glass so on the Samsung we have a coring Gorilla Glass Victus while on the iPhone 14 Pro Max we have a dual ion glass and the frame on the Samsung is made up of armor aluminium while iPhone 14 Pro Max has a stainless steel frame so no headphone jack on both DC devices and both phones also support stereo speakers so iphone 14 pro max has a 6.7 inch ltpo super retina xcr oled display with 120 hertz refresh rate hdr 10 plus and dolby vision support also we have a 2000 nits of max brightness while on the another hand samsung s22 ultra has a 6.8 inch quad hd plus dynamic amoled ltpo 120 hertz refresh rate with hdr 10 plus support and a 1715 nits of max brightness so samsung it is not as bright as the iphone 14 pro max also we have a punch hole on the center on the samsung s22 ultra also we have curved display on the samsung while iphone 14 pro max has a completely flat display we have a dynamic island on the top which has some useful features in the ui so in this video i'm going to show you how is the gaming performance of the iphone 14 pro max as well as the samsung s22 ultra so the battery percentage so on the samsung we, we have 52 percent while on the iphone we have 56 percent so without any wasting time now let's quickly opening up the pubg mobile at the same time let's see which one is open the app faster iPhone 14 Pro Max is miles faster as you can see so you can see in the loading times big difference between these devices now Samsung it is also done so you can see we have four or five second difference which is a massive difference between these devices so guys let me show the graphics options on both phones first on the iPhone so we have a smooth graphics with 90 fps on the iphone 14 pro max in the balance we have extreme frame rate hd hdr we all have extreme frame rate in ultra hd we have our ultra frame rate so now let's play on smooth graphics in 90 fps on the iphone 14 pro max let me show the graphics option on the samsung as well so on the samsung we have a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate so no 90 fps on the samsung also in the balance hd hdr we all have extreme frame rate we also have ultra hd with ultra frame rate so this phone will give you a maximum 60 fps gameplay very easily so now let's play on smooth graphics with extreme frame rate also i set the style on the colorful as well so now let's play on the iphone 14 pro max first in the arena training let's see how this iphone is kind of performing in the game so right from the start the gameplay feels really very really smooth as you can see let me show the gyro first on the iphone 14 pro max and you can see and the gyro it's really really responsive as you can see no issue whatsoever one of the best the speakers it is also really really good on the iPhone 14 Pro Max Enemy down. 
so far iphone 14 pro max is handling this game very good which you expect from a apple a16 bionic soc So you can see iPhone 14 Pro Max is handling this game very good, no issue whatsoever. The speakers it is also very very loud. And guys, why this video in 60 FPS then? You will know the real performance of that phone. And so far, this phone is handling everything fine. Not a single FPS drop on 90 FPS, which you expect. So here is the max volume. Half of the match is over, and the blue team is in the lead. As you can see, speakers, it is, I would say, one of the best on this device. Also, really, really good for gaming. And the stereo effect, it is really, really good. So guys you can see we are win regarding the performance of the iPhone 14 Pro Max in the in entertaining this phone is handling this game absolutely fine not a single FPS drop or jitter that I can notice but again you guys are the judge of the gameplay so now let's see the battery percentage so the battery percentage it is at 53% and the device it feels little warm but it is not a overheating like that right from the start yes the gameplay it is at 60 fps and also i can feel a little bit that this is a 60 fps and the 90 fps on the iphone it feels more smoother and you can see and the gyro it is also really really good on the samsung but it is not as smooth as the iphone 14 pro max which has 90 fps so another thing i also don't like on the Samsung phone is that and the speaker it is right there so while I'm using this device I completely block that speaker so now let's play right there because it is not as loud as the iPhone 14 Pro Max so because it is miles better on the iPhone So guys we are loose on the Samsung S22 Ultra so guys all I have to say regarding the performance of the Samsung S22 Ultra this phone is handling 60 FPS very good no jitters no FPS drop that I can notice so Samsung S22 Ultra also performed really very really good so let's see battery percentage so we have 48% battery and now let's play in the Sanok okay guys right now we are in the Sanok so this phone it is still at 90 fps now let's play on hdr extreme why not let's see how is the iphone is gonna handling that and yes i know this is not a head to head comparison because s23 ultra is the latest smartphone from samsung but i don't have s23 ultra so when we on the airplane i did not see any big 
jitters or APS drop. You can see everything face silky smooth, no issues. So now let's go boot cam and still no issue. So now let's go boot cam. Let's see how is the iPhone is going to performing in the boot cam. So no jitters that I find or APS drop again unfortunately it does not have any APS meter but I am recording this video in 60 APS guys I am dead as you can see so you can see iPhone 14 Pro Max is handling its performance even in Sanok as well so this iPhone still is gonna give you a 60 FPS gameplay very easily in the Sanok bootcam so now let's see the battery percentage we have 51% battery on the iPhone so now let's play on the, San on the Samsung so guys we are in the Sanok on the Samsung so the gameplay is at 60 FPS so now let's go HDRX team on the Samsung as well let's see how is the Samsung is kind of performing at HDR extreme setting so little jitter as you can see but not that much so now let's go boot cam you can see the colors on the Samsung S22 Ultra is looks miles better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the display it is better on the Samsung despite having this is a less brighter display. So still 60 FPS, no jitters that I can feel and so no jitter still no APS drop and the frame rate feels very stable although we don't have a lot of enemies like we have on the iPhone but still Samsung also perform really decent as you can see now we see app is drop and you can see so overall to say regarding the performance of the Samsung S22 Ultra as you can see the Samsung S22 Ultra does not perform I would say very stable in the sign of boot camp but on the Samsung we have 45% battery so guys overall have to say regarding the PUBG performance between these devices and guys and both these devices perform excellent in the arena training but in Sanok Bootcamp, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is performed much stable as compared to the Samsung S22 Ultra. You can see in the start, we see APS drop while we are in the Bootcamp, we see APS drop as well. Overall, I have to say, if you need a gaming phone, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the best option, I would say, overall in the smartphone industry. This phone has really good battery life, really good cameras. 
so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this video so do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i know this is not a head to head speed test still do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos like this and i will see you in my next video peace out